What's up, ladies and gents? Let's talk about the intent of today's training session. You're gonna set a clock for 35 minutes, all right? It is a 35 minute AMRAP, but it's also a flow. Here's what we mean by that. It is an AMRAP, it is 35 minutes, as many rounds and reps as possible, but you're also flowing from one exercise to the next. You're not necessarily sprinting as in a traditional shorter time AMRAP, all right? Now there are five, count them, five different movements. Technically, if you have one dumbbell, you can complete this entire 35 minutes with one piece of equipment, all right? Maybe a pair of running shoes, if you like to run with shoes on. Anyway, let's talk about it, all right? So, first we're gonna start off with the devil's press. Now, the devil's press is essentially a burpee into a snatch, all right? Now, if you have two dumbbells, you're gonna drop down both dumbbells on the floor, chest, quads, hit the floor, you're then going to jump up into a double arm snatch. If, all right, you have a single dumbbell, all right, you're gonna do four on one side, four on the other. And as a matter of fact, that's actually how it's written. So four devil's presses on one side, single arm, and then four devil's presses on the other side. You could absolutely go a little bit heavier, all right, and uh, play, with those, play with those repetitions, if you will. All right, so after the devil's press, you are then going to hit the kick through. All right, now the difference between a practical and a tactical kick through is that the practical does not have a push up and the tactical does. All right, so the tactical is gonna be more of that kind of burpee kick through where the practical is just that classic kick through. Now this classic kick through, we're working on shoulder position, we're working on a little bit of pivot, all right? You're challenging your core, your hip mobility, and your shoulder stability. Now after you have performed your six kick throughs, you're then gonna move on to some sort of lunge. Now in the practical version of this, that is going to be eight and eight front rack lunges. If you're going tactical, that's gonna be eight and eight overhead lunges, all right? So, eight on one side, eight on the other. Eight on one leg, eight on the other, all right? Again, if you have one dumbbell, you can hold that up over top. If you have two and you're feeling froggy, that's right. Lock it up there, push it out, and do not let those elbows bend, all right? Keep the elbows locked out. If your elbows are starting to bend, you're not really getting the intended exercise out of this, all right? You're not getting the intended adaptation, if you will. So bring them back down, go to the front rack. Shoot for that overhead, and if you can't maintain that locked out shoulder position, bring it back down and stick with the front rack lunge, all right? After you've done eight and eight front rack lunges, six and six kick throughs, and four and four devil's press, you will then move on to a 10 and 10 plank row or a 10 and 10 renegade row. Now this is really if you have one dumbbell or two. Plank row, all right, you hit 10 rows on one side in that plank position, and then 10 on the other. Renegade, you can alternate one and one, two and two, so you get 20 total, regardless of practical tactical. After that, you're gonna go for a 400 meter run. 400 meter run. All right, so let's go back through this. 35 minute AMRAP, devil's press, into kick throughs, into our lunges, into our rows, and then a 400 meter run. You're gonna complete as many rounds of that as possible in 35 minutes. Question of the day, what is your favorite book? Lord of the Rings, come on, come on. Is there anything better than like even close? I don't think so. What's your favorite book?